The KAG's weather camera is brought to you by Lone Star Roof Systems. No jingles, just roofs. Well, good Friday evening. We're looking at pretty cool conditions out there compared to what we were dealing with yesterday. Temperatures are in the low 50s, sitting at 53 degrees here in Bryan College Station. We have the northerly winds across the Brazos Valley thanks to that cold front working its way in. That's keeping those temperatures pretty cool out there right now. 50 in Navasota, 49 degrees in getting. So those temperatures out there well uh, below what we were experiencing this time yesterday, about 20 to 25 degrees cooler. Now, the good news is most of the precipitation beginning to move out towards the east, still dealing with a little bit of drizzle in parts of Bryan College Station, but notice the more concentrated area of shower activity is lifting off towards the north and the east, and that's the good news if you have any plans to go watch any of those big high school football matchups that we have going on this evening. So we picked up 13 hundredths of an inch of rain in Bryan College College Station today. We need every bit of that because we are over an inch below average for the month of November and we need all that rain still dealing with those drought conditions out there. So if we take a look at uh, how far below average we are for the year, just below half an inch uh, below average for the year. So we're not too far off, but we definitely need to start raking up some of that precipitation as the year is going to conclude uh, pretty rapidly. So let's take a look at future radar. I'm not expecting any more rain as we head into the overnight hours. Notice we continue with that northerly breeze ushering in that cool air. Temperature is going to fall in the low 40s tomorrow morning. Morning. You need the light jacket if you have any plans. Now we're going to warm up pretty quickly tomorrow afternoon, but still going to remain in the 60s. The average high is 69 degrees, so we're going to be about 5 to 10 degrees below average. Expected to remain dry as we head into Sunday as well. Another cool night overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. So as we uh, head into the weekend, we're going to notice that we have this little dip in the jet stream, and that's uh, what we're dealing with right now. This upper level low helps send that cold front south and over the weekend going to see a little storm system start to take shape out to the west. A little dip in that jet stream upper level low forming over the Baja of California. That's going to eject towards the north and the east and start to weaken, but that's going to help send a cold front into the Brazos Valley. Also, keep an eye on this upper level low that develops over Southern California. That'll impact our weather next week, and so we'll talk about that next week. But all eyes focus on that one low that's going to move into the plains as we head into the middle of next week. Going to send a cold front in, going to be pretty chilly to the north of that cold front, while to the south of it, going to be pretty warm and we're going to see some rain showers across much of the Brazos Valley, especially across the northern parts of the viewing area. And we're also going to see some colder air create some snow in parts of the panhandle. If you have any travel plans up to maybe Lubbock or Amarillo could be dealing with some snow. They're not expecting any snow here. This cold front going to become stationary. Lift is a warm front throughout the day on Thanksgiving, so those temperatures going to increase now. I'm focusing on December as well, looking like we're going to see a cold pattern set up across the US, going to see a nice ridge take shape over the Pacific Northwest into the Gulf of Alaska. That's going to force some cold air into the Brazos Valley and much of the US. So frequent cold fronts looking like they'll move in throughout the month of December. Now we're going to have to keep an eye off and, and keep an eye on anything in the Pacific to see if it can come over and move that uh, moisture up over the cold air to create wintery precipitation. That's something we will closely keep an eye on as we head into December, but it's going to be a beautiful weekend. All right, well, it's getting cold, but sports is heating up tonight. We got a live report coming up from Georgia. Mike Lucas out there in Bulldog country for you. And then out in L.A. 